Hi, I'm Dr. Mari Kratz, and this is Nourished by Science on YouTube. On this channel, we'll be tackling one question, and one question only. What should we eat for optimal health? Stick around if that's something you're interested in, and I'll share with you my plans for this brand new channel. What should we eat for optimal health? That's what it's going to be all about here on this new channel. We'll be diving deeply into the fascinating science of how our food affects our health. We'll be looking at the biological mechanisms through which food can make us sick or healthy. We'll be discussing how our body regulates our appetite and body weight, our blood sugar levels, our fat metabolism, or the function of our immune system and most importantly, how the quality of our diet affects these processes. We'll be learning about all the different scientific methods used to gain insight, all their strengths and limitations so that we can really appreciate what the science actually says and where we still have gaps in our knowledge. Now, in the history of science, it's hard to imagine a more contentious field than nutrition. For sure, there are a few things almost everyone tends to agree with. For example, that we should be limiting ultra-processed foods or empty calorie foods that contain lots of added sugars, refined grains, and added fats and oils. I don't think anyone would suggest that our health would benefit if we ate more donuts, potato chips, ice cream, cake, cookies, sugary cereals, soda, or candy bars. I haven't come across a donut diet or potato chip diet yet and know of no health guru who thinks that soda is an elixir of health. Everything else seems to be up for grabs though these days, as the diet wars over what we should be eating are seemingly touching on every single food group. One of the major debates right now is about whether low-fat or low-carb diets are healthier. Should we be eating mostly fruit and vegetables, whole grains and legumes, and minimize animal foods? Or would it actually be better to eat mostly meat, fish, eggs, dairy and non-starchy vegetables while limiting fruit, grains and legumes? Among the different food groups, dairy is probably one of the most contentious ones. Dairy foods are portrayed by some as pro-inflammatory and a cause of cancer, and by others as a great source of micronutrients and protein that protects us against osteoporosis. Or let's take red meat. Is it a valuable source of micronutrients and protein, as some people claim, or a cause of colon cancer and heart disease, as stated by others? Even fruit is under attack these days. Traditionally seen as a rich source of micronutrients, fiber, and phytochemicals, some now claim fruit causes fatty liver disease due to its high fructose content. Oh, and, and then there are whole grains and legumes, a major battleground, seen by many as the staples of our diet and rich sources of micronutrients, fiber, and protein. Some folks now claim that these are a major contributor to chronic diseases due to the high content of antinutrients, such as lectins. If all of this has you scratching your head as to what you should be putting into that shopping cart, you're not alone. I think it's fair to say that the level of confusion about how we should be eating for optimal health has reached a new all-time high. So on this channel, we'll be tackling exactly these types of questions to provide you with clarity on where the science actually stands and where we still have gaps in our knowledge. But you wonder, why should I trust this random guy on the internet? How do I know that he is right and not the buff guy on the carnivore channel or the pretty girl who cured her eczema with a fruitarian diet? Well, here's the thing. You should not just trust me or anyone when it comes to something as important as your health. I'd actually encourage you to be skeptical because there's a lot of nonsense out there that qualifies more as marketing than science. Almost everyone has some kind of agenda and it's also extremely difficult not to be biased in any way. I certainly have some biases when it comes to nutrition, based on what I eat myself, but also based on what I've published on, for example. Now, to make sure you're not at the mercy of my biases, I will use the most rigorous scientific process when I produce these videos. For one, I will disclose all biases as applicable to each topic we're discussing. I will also provide references to all of my sources. You will find these always in the description below the videos, and also in a dedicated blog post on our website at nourishedbyscience.com that accompanies each video. Probably most importantly though, I will not cherry pick one paper to tell you some sexy fairy tale, but grapple with the entirety of the evidence on any given topic. 
I will consider all of the evidence, including randomized controlled trials, observational studies, animal studies, and even anecdotes, but appropriately weighed and communicated based on the strengths and limitations of each of these methods. Each scientific paper will be meticulously picked through to figure out whether what the authors claim to have found is actually supported by their data. You'll be surprised how often that is not the case. I will not ever try to sell you something as fact based on any one single study, and certainly not based on the anecdotal experience of a few people. My pledge to you is that each video will be thoroughly researched, just as I would do for a scientific paper. You should never just believe me because I say it's true. On this channel, the data I present are what matters. If you ever find that I have omitted an important piece of evidence, I encourage you to call me out on that, ideally with a reference to the omitted publication. Honestly, I want you to hold me to the highest standards because I strongly believe that the highest level of scientific rigor is needed to bring some clarity into this complex and confusing field. Now, that said, I also have a request for you. I'm hoping you will become an active participant in this newly forming community, willing to engage in a productive discussion of all of the fascinating science around nutrition and health. And for the benefit of us all, I'm hoping that this discourse will be conducted in a kind and respectful way. I'm hoping to build a new kind of diet tribe, one that is not focused on one particular diet, but one that is focused on the best scientific evidence, open to challenging our own way of thinking, and at the same time tolerant about how other people think, and particularly how other people prefer to eat. Now, I do need to emphasize that this channel here is for informational and entertainment purposes only. None of what I say here or write on our website should be taken as healthcare advice. I don't know you or your specific situation, and I encourage you to speak to a qualified healthcare professional, such as a registered dietitian here in the US or the equivalent of that in your own country, if you plan on making major changes to your diet or lifestyle. Now, given that this is the very first video of this new YouTube channel, I think you deserve to know a little bit about who I am. I'm a clinical nutrition researcher in the area of obesity, metabolic and cardiovascular disease. I have completed master's and PhD degrees in nutrition and a postdoctoral fellowship in endocrinology and metabolism. I then spent more than 14 years as a faculty member in academia, most recently at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center and the University of Washington, both of which are in Seattle. Other than being sleepless in Seattle a lot during my time in academia, I conducted dietary intervention trials to understand better how what we eat affects our risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, fatty liver disease, and cardiovascular disease. Aside from conducting research, I was also active in mentoring and teaching. For many years, I used to teach a graduate course at the university that was entitled Nutritional Epidemiology. In this course, we discussed all of the methods used in nutrition science to generate evidence and critically discussed a lot of scientific papers. So that's something you know, I've always really thoroughly enjoyed and we'll be doing a lot of that together on this channel here as well. In terms of other professional activities, I used to serve on the editorial board of the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism and have served on the editorial board of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition for a few years now as well. For more details on my scientific background, please check out my full CV. You can find it on our website. Link is in the description below. So again, let me welcome you to this new YouTube channel. I'm excited to dive deeply into the fascinating science around nutrition and health with you, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. It's my sincere hope that you will find the content on this channel interesting and inspiring, and that you will benefit from it in some way. Please visit our website at nourishedbyscience.com, where you can also sign up for our newsletter, or find us on Twitter and Facebook. I'll leave links to all of our social media pages in the description below. If you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again on this channel soon. <music>